Want to eliminate FPS drops, fix stuttering, and maximize performance in Counter-Strike 2? In today's video, I'll show you the ultimate optimizations that will boost your FPS, reduce input lag, and ensure a smooth gaming experience. We'll tweak hidden settings and fine-tune your system for maximum gaming performance, so make sure to follow each step carefully. Now, let's dive in and unlock the full potential of your CS2. CS2 players, are you ready to upgrade your skin collection? Welcome to skinsvip.com, your go-to destination for scoring CS2 skins in a fun and rewarding way. Log in daily to claim exclusive rewards at no cost. Give the turntable a spin for a shot at winning amazing skins. The more you spin, the better the prizes. Collect free coins every day and redeem them for skins or extra spins to boost your chances. Plus, grab free cases. Simply deposit $2 within 24 hours to unlock your first case for free. Or, keep a $5 balance to claim a free case daily. Looking for more rewards? Use the code SLOPPY to receive an instant 0.80 cents and earn a 20% commission every time someone recharges using your code. And don't forget our massive giveaways packed with the top tier skins ready to be won. Use code SLAPPY and start winning today at Skins VIP. In the first step, we'll optimize GPU settings specifically to boost FPS and eliminate stutters in CS2. By fine-tuning power management and texture filtering, we'll maximize performance for a smoother gameplay experience. Open the NVIDIA Control Panel, or AMD Radeon settings, and navigate to Manage 3D Settings. Set power management mode to prefer maximum performance to prevent your GPU from downclocking, ensuring it runs at full speed during gameplay. Next, locate texture filtering quality and switch it to high performance. This reduces unnecessary GPU load by prioritizing speed over visuals, helping to eliminate micro stutters and FPS drops. These tweaks will enhance system responsiveness, minimize lag, and deliver a stable FPS boost, making CS2 run significantly smoother. Now guys, download the CS2 Ultimate FPS Boost Pack from my official website. You can verify it using any trusted virus detection tool or website. It's completely safe and free from any malware. After downloading, extract it to your desktop and open the folder. Inside the main folder, you'll find several subfolders, each containing essential tweaks to maximize your game's performance. First, open the Registry folder. Inside this folder, you'll see multiple registry files that will apply important system optimizations for CS2. Install them one by one by double-clicking each file and confirming the changes. These tweaks will adjust Windows settings to reduce input lag, improve CPU efficiency, and stabilize performance, helping you achieve a smoother gaming experience. Let's once you've finished installing all the registry files, go back to the main folder and open the Counter-Strike 2 Priority folder. In this folder, you'll find registry files that control how your CPU interacts with Counter-Strike 2. Setting the correct priority level ensures that your processor dedicates the right amount of power to the game, helping eliminate stutters and improve FPS. If you have a low-end PC, install the normal priority registry file to keep performance stable. If your PC is mid-range, use the medium priority option to optimize responsiveness while maintaining good stability. For those with a high-end PC, apply the high priority file to ensure CS2 gets the maximum C CPU power, reducing delays and enhancing frame rates. These settings fine-tune your processor's performance based on your system's capabilities, preventing unnecessary slowdowns. Next, open the program called Run with Affinity from the extracted folder. This tool is essential for optimizing CPU usage, ensuring that CS2 fully utilizes all available processing power instead of leaving performance untapped. Many players don't realize that their game isn't using all CPU threads efficiently, which can cause unnecessary frame drops and stuttering. This program fixes that issue by forcing CS2 to run on the optimal number of threads for maximum performance. To start, Click on Select Program, then hit the three dots to browse for the game's executable file. Navigate to your Steam folder, then open Steam Apps, go to Common, and find Counter-Strike 2. Inside this folder, go to Game, watch Bin, Win64, and locate the main CS2 executable file named CS2.exe. Double-click it to select the file. Once selected, go to the Processor section where your CPU affinity settings are displayed. By default, the program should detect and use the maximum number of available CPU threads. However, if it doesn't, you need to set it manually. 
For example, if your CPU has 16 threads, make sure to select 16 to maximize performance and ensure smoother gameplay. After configuring the thread count, create a shortcut on your desktop so you can launch the optimized settings easily. You can name the shortcut however you like and save it in your preferred location. Once done, click Create Shortcut and after completing these steps, you can close the program. These optimizations will ensure that CS2 runs at peak efficiency, minimizing stutters and boosting FPS for a much smoother and more responsive gaming experience. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link after downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize for next, launch Counter-Strike 2, where I'll walk you through the best in-game settings for maximum FPS and minimal stuttering. Once in the settings menu, ensure your refresh rate is set to the highest option available for your monitor. This will ensure smoother gameplay and reduce input lag. Now head over to the advanced video settings and adjust them according to ESA's recommendations for optimal performance. Be sure to copy these settings exactly as they are for the best results. One key setting to consider is shadows. They provide a significant visual advantage in CS2. However, if you don't care about seeing enemy shadows, set them to low, sun only, to reduce GPU load and increase FPS. Otherwise, I highly recommend keeping them at high and all, as they can give you an edge in spotting opponents. Next, find the NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency setting. If you have a low end PC, disable this option to prevent additional GPU overhead. If you have a good CPU and GPU, enable NVIDIA Reflex to reduce input delay. If your CPU is weak but your GPU is strong, select Enable plus Boost to balance performance and responsiveness. Now, go to the Game Settings section and look for the Buffering option, which helps smooth out packet loss. According to Futcher, a Valve employee, it's best to set this option to None, unless you're experiencing stuttering or packet loss. If you notice network issues, setting it to one packet should resolve most problems while two packets is only necessary in extreme cases where you experience severe packet loss. Scroll down to find the Animated Avatars option and set it to No to eliminate unnecessary distractions and reduce system load. Once all settings are adjusted, click Apply, then restart your game to ensure everything takes effect. These optimizations will help you achieve a higher FPS, smoother performance, and a more responsive experience in Counter-Strike 2. One common mistake that causes FPS drops and stuttering in Counter-Strike 2 is not setting your power plan correctly. Windows manages power usage through different power plans, and using the wrong setting can throttle your CPU and GPU performance. To fix this, open the Windows search bar, type power, and select choose a power plan. Once inside, change your current plan to high performance or ultimate performance if available. This ensures that your system prioritizes maximum performance over energy efficiency, allowing your CPU and GPU to run at their full potential without unnecessary power limitations. After selecting the preferred power plan, click Change Plan Settings, then go to Change Advanced Power Settings for further optimization. In this menu, expand the PCI Express section and set Link State Power Management to Off to disable power-saving features that could cause FPS drops or stuttering in Counter-Strike 2. Next, navigate to Processor Power Management, expand it, and set both Minimum Processor State and Maximum Processor State to 100%. This prevents your CPU from throttling, ensuring it runs at full power at all times for consistent performance during gaming. Once you've applied these changes, click OK to save them. 
With these optimizations in place, your PC will now run faster, smoother, and more efficiently, significantly improving FPS and reducing stutters in CS2 for a much better gaming experience. In the next step, we will adjust essential Windows settings to further enhance performance and FPS in Counter-Strike 2, CS2, by disabling unnecessary background processes and system features. Open the Settings menu by clicking on the Windows button and selecting Settings. Once inside, go to Privacy and navigate to the General section. Here, turn off all available options to prevent Windows from collecting and using your data for personalized ads, app launches, and background activities that can impact gaming performance. Next, go to Diagnostics and Feedback and set Diagnostic Data to Basic to limit the amount of information sent to Microsoft. Then, disable Improve Inking and Typing Recognition, Tailored Experiences, and Diagnostic Data Viewer to further reduce background data collection. Finally, under the Delete Diagnostic Data section, click Delete to remove any previously collected diagnostic information that might be affecting system performance. Now, return to the Windows search bar and type Allow Downloads from Other PCs. Click on the corresponding option in the search results. Many users don't realize that Windows, by default, allows other PCs on the local network to use their system as a server for faster Windows update downloads, which can put unnecessary strain on system resources. To prevent this, disable the setting completely to free up bandwidth and processing power for CS2. Next, navigate to the System tab and go to Notifications and Actions. Here, turn off all unnecessary notifications to reduce background processes and improve performance. Then, go to Focus Assist and ensure it is turned off to prevent Windows from running unnecessary background tasks. Move to Tablet Mode and set When I Sign In to use Desktop Mode. Under When This Device Automatically Switches Tablet Mode On or Off, select Don't Ask Me and Don't Switch. Then, disable the two additional Tablet Mode options below. Proceed to Multitasking and turn off all snap functions to prevent Windows from allocating system resources to unnecessary animations and layouts. Scroll down to Timeline and disable it to reduce background tracking. In the Virtual Desktop section, unless you actively use them, set only the desktop I'm using for both options. Skip projecting to this PC and go to Shared Experiences. Then turn off all Shared Experience features to prevent Windows from syncing data across devices in the background. Lastly, navigate to Remote Desktop and disable it, unless you actively use this feature to free up system resources. While still in System Settings, go to the About section and locate Advanced System Settings. Click on it and a new window will open. Navigate to the Advanced tab and click Settings under the Performance section. By default, Windows prioritizes appearance settings, but to improve speed and responsiveness, select Adjust for Best Performance. This will disable all unnecessary visual effects that could impact FPS in CS2. However, to maintain usability and aesthetics while maximizing performance, re-enable the following four options under Custom. Enable Peak Show Thumbnails instead of Icons. Show window contents while dragging smooth edges of screen fonts. These settings ensure a balance between performance and visual clarity, preventing windows from looking too basic while still optimizing for higher FPS and reduced input lag in CS2. After selecting them, click Apply and then OK to save the changes. Finally, go to the Advanced tab and adjust how processor resources are allocated. Under Processor Scheduling, ensure it is set to prioritize programs rather than background services. This setting ensures that system resources are focused on active tasks such as gaming and streaming, rather than unnecessary background processes. For example, if you're playing a demanding game like Counter-Strike 2, the system will allocate more CPU and RAM to the game, rather than background tasks, boosting FPS and minimizing stutters. Save your changes, and your system will now run smoother, faster, and more efficiently, delivering better performance in CS2. That's it for today's video. If this helped, be sure to like and subscribe for more FPS boosting tips. See you in the next one. Peace out.